Have you ever let your mind wander to the question, what would have happened if Napoleon had won the Battle of Waterloo? Ah, the Battle of Waterloo. A pivotal moment that has etched itself deeply into the annals of history. Occurring on the 18th of June, 1815, this epic clash of titans marked the final defeat of Napoleon Bonaparte, a man whose very name is synonymous with ambition, power, and a relentless drive for glory. Napoleon, a figure larger than life, a self-crowned emperor who rose from the ashes of the French Revolution, was a military genius, a master strategist who had conquered most of Europe in his quest to spread the ideals of liberty, equality and brotherhood. Yet his grand vision was halted at Waterloo, a small municipality in present-day Belgium. Here his forces clashed with the armies of the Seventh Coalition, led by the formidable Duke of Wellington. The Battle of Waterloo was more than just a military confrontation. It was a crossroads in time, a decisive moment that would shape the course of European history and by extension the history of the world. The defeat of Napoleon marked the end of his reign, the end of the French Empire, and the beginning of a new era of peace and stability in Europe, a period known as the Congress of Vienna. In the aftermath of Waterloo, the map of Europe was redrawn, power dynamics shifted, and the balance of power was meticulously maintained to prevent any single nation from dominating the continent. The ripple effects of this battle were felt far and wide, influencing politics, culture and society in ways that continue to reverberate, even today. But what if Napoleon had won the Battle of Waterloo? What if the man who had once proudly proclaimed, I am the revolution, had emerged victorious on that fateful day? How different would our world be today? How would the course of history have changed? The possibilities are as fascinating as they are endless. So come with me on this journey through time and let's explore this intriguing what-if scenario. Now imagine a world where Napoleon, not Wellington, emerged victorious on that fateful day in 1815. In the reality we know, Napoleon's defeat marked the end of his rule. But what if he had won? Ponder on these words for a moment while we delve into the realm of alternate history. In the immediate aftermath of a hypothetical Napoleonic victory at Waterloo, the world as we know it would have taken a drastically different turn. The Battle of Waterloo in the heart of the tiny Belgian municipality was not just a military confrontation, but more of a decisive clash of ideologies, ambitions and national identities. A victory for Napoleon would have meant a staggering blow to the British who were leading the charge against him. The balance of power in Europe hung in the balance, teetering on the edge of a knife. Let's imagine this, the French troops led by the indomitable Napoleon emerging victorious on the battlefield. The immediate repercussion of this alternate outcome would likely have been the fall of Britain as the dominant global power. A defeat at Waterloo would have seriously undermined Britain's military prestige and its influence over the European mainland. Meanwhile, in France, the victory would have solidified Napoleon's rule. The French populace, already enamoured by their charismatic leader, would have rallied around him even more fervently. Napoleon's reign would have continued, possibly leading to further territorial expansion and consolidating his vision of a unified Europe under French leadership. The geopolitical landscape of Europe would have been drastically altered. Napoleon's triumph could have led to a continent predominantly influenced by French culture, law and governance. The Napoleonic Code, a legal framework that heavily influenced many civil law jurisdictions worldwide, could have become the de facto legal system across Europe. The immediate aftermath of Waterloo would have been a time of profound uncertainty and change. Ripples of this alternate victory would have spread outwards, touching every corner of the globe, leading to a new world order. Napoleon's triumph could have set the stage for a different geopolitical landscape. So, as we move forward, Let's explore the potential long-term effects of this hypothetical victory on the world stage, shall we? With Napoleon at the helm, the map of Europe might have been redrawn. Imagine, if you will, a Europe where Napoleon's ambitions went unchecked. A Europe where the French Empire, buoyed by victory at Waterloo, continued to expand its territories, where once stood a multitude of sovereign nations, now lay a vast, interconnected empire under the rule of a single man. The French Empire under Napoleon might have extended its influence deep into the heart of Europe, possibly annexing territories like the German states, Italy, and perhaps even parts of Eastern Europe. 
the map of Europe would likely have been a patchwork of French territories, satellite states and a few resilient holdouts. A victorious Napoleon would have undoubtedly altered the balance of power among European nations. The United Kingdom, despite being a formidable naval power, might have found itself in an uneasy position facing an adversary whose influence spanned the continent. The balance of power would likely have tilted heavily towards France, with other nations forced to navigate this new reality. Meanwhile, the Austrian Empire and Russia, two of the most powerful entities of the time, might have found themselves in a precarious situation. Their influence on the European stage could have been significantly reduced, leading to a reshuffling of alliances and sparking a series of power struggles. This shift in power dynamics could have led to a new era of French dominance in Europe, with the echoes of Napoleon's triumph at Waterloo reverberating through the corridors of power across the continent. The French language, culture and legal system might have become even more entrenched in European society, shaping the course of history in ways we can only imagine. Yet, it's important to remember that this is all speculation. History as we know it took a different turn. But the exercise of imagining a different outcome, a different Europe, offers a fascinating glimpse into the what-ifs of history. The balance of power in Europe could have shifted dramatically, with implications reaching far beyond its borders. But Europe is only one piece of the puzzle. What about the rest of the world? Let's delve into the potential global impact of a Napoleonic victory at Waterloo. The ripples of this altered course of history would extend far beyond the borders of Europe, fundamentally reshaping the world as we know it. The first and perhaps most profound change would be in colonial rule. With a strengthened France under Napoleon's leadership, the balance of power would shift dramatically. This could have potentially led to a more consolidated French colonial empire. Imagine a world where the vast territories of Africa, Asia and the Americas are under the tricolour flag of France. The map of the world would be awash with a different shade of colonial influence. Now, let's consider the spread of Napoleonic legal and political ideas. Napoleon's civil code, or the Napoleonic code as it is more commonly known, was one of his most enduring legacies in our timeline. It was a revolutionary legal framework that emphasized equality before the law, secularism and the abolition of feudalism. Had Napoleon won at Waterloo, these ideas could have spread more widely and rapidly across the globe. Countries that were under French influence or rule might have adopted similar legal frameworks much sooner. This could have catalyzed a global trend towards secular, egalitarian societies, possibly leading to earlier movements for civil rights and liberties. We must also consider the impact on global trade. A Europe dominated by Napoleon would likely have seen a shift in trade routes and alliances with profound implications for global economic patterns. We might have seen a world where the French franc rivals the British pound and the American dollar in global prominence. Of course, this is all speculation. History is a complex tapestry woven from countless threads of cause and effect, but it's fascinating to imagine how one battle, a Napoleonic victory at Waterloo, could have reshaped the world. Napoleon's triumph might have sparked a wave of revolutionary changes around the globe. Beyond politics and geography, a victorious Napoleon could have left a profound imprint on culture and society. Consider the world of art. The Romantic era might have been eclipsed by a prolonged period of neoclassicism, Napoleon's preferred style. Grand dramatic paintings of Napoleon's triumphs could have become the norm, replacing the introspective and emotional works of the Romantic artists. The world of literature too could have been radically altered. The novels of Jane Austen exploring the intricacies of British society might have been replaced with epic tales of Napoleonic heroism and grandeur. In the realm of fashion, the Napoleonic influence could have been far-reaching. The military-inspired styles favoured by Napoleon, characterised by high-waisted coats and bicorn hats, could have become the standard influencing global fashion trends for decades to come. The societal norms, as we know them today, might have also been transformed. Napoleon's civil code, which established the principles of civil liberty and equality before the law, could have been more widely adopted. This could have led to an early push for gender equality and civil rights, dramatically altering the course of social history. In terms of language, French could have become the dominant global language, much like English is today. It might have been the language of international diplomacy, commerce and academia. 
the global influence and prestige of the French language could have been significantly enhanced. In the world of music, the impact of a Napoleonic victory could have been equally profound. The symphonies of Beethoven, originally dedicated to Napoleon as a champion of the people, could have taken on a whole new significance. The world could have seen a surge in patriotic and nationalistic compositions echoing the triumphs of Napoleon's reign. And let's not forget the culinary world, French cuisine, already renowned, could have become the gold standard, influencing culinary trends and tastes across the globe. The world as we know it could have been a very different place, culturally and socially. Opening, the ripple effects of Napoleon's hypothetical victory may still be felt today. Imagine a world where Napoleon's triumph at Waterloo wasn't just a what-if. This victory, however grand, would not have been his endgame. Instead, it would have served as a stepping stone, propelling him towards a future that he envisioned, a world molded by his ideals and ambitions. First, let's consider the course of subsequent wars. Napoleon's military genius was unparalleled and his innovative tactics revolutionized warfare. Had he emerged victorious at Waterloo, it's plausible to think that future conflicts would have been influenced by his strategies, possibly altering their outcomes. And what about the fate of democracy? Napoleon, after all, was no advocate of the democratic process. His rule was autocratic, centralizing power in his own hands. This could have had significant ramifications on the evolution of democratic ideals. Countries that were in their nascent stages of democracy might have been swayed by his influence, potentially leading to a delay or even a halt in the spread of democratic governance. Then there's the shape of the modern world. Napoleon's victory could have led to a French-dominated Europe, with the ripple effects of his rule reaching far beyond the continent. He was a proponent of legal and educational reforms, many of which are fundamental to societies today. However, his imperial ambitions could have also led to the suppression of national identities and cultures in favor of a French-centric world order. One could argue that the world would be more uniform in nature with French language, culture and law taking precedence. But would this uniformity have stifled the rich diversity that makes our world unique? And would the world be more or less peaceful under such a regime? In this alternate universe, our present might be unrecognizably different, but as fascinating as this speculation is, it remains just that speculation. Because in reality, Napoleon did not win at Waterloo, and the ripples of his defeat shaped the world as we know it today. Closing, in this alternate universe, our present might be unrecognizably different. The Battle of Waterloo was more than just a military confrontation, it was a turning point in history. The echoes of this singular face-off continue to resonate through the annals of time, a testament to the power of one battle in shaping the world as we know it. The Battle of Waterloo was the final curtain call in the tumultuous career of Napoleon Bonaparte, a man whose influence stretched far beyond the borders of his French empire. It was the last hurrah of an era, the end of a chapter in the epic tale of human civilization. But what if the battle had swung in a different direction? Imagine, if you will, a world where Napoleon had emerged victorious from that fateful day in 1815. What would have become of Europe, of the world, of history itself? This battle, this single day, held in its grasp the power to alter the course of history, to set humanity on a path divergent from the one we know today. This was not merely a clash of armies, but of ideologies, of visions for the future. The ramifications of this battle extended far beyond the immediate aftermath, shaping the political, social and cultural landscape of the world. The victory of the Seventh Coalition over Napoleon symbolized the triumph of the balance of power over imperial expansion, of diplomacy over domination. Yet it's important to understand that while the Battle of Waterloo holds a significant place in history, it is but one of countless events that have shaped our world. History is a tapestry woven from innumerable threads, each representing an event, a decision, a moment. Every thread contributes to the overall pattern and removing or altering a single one could drastically change the final picture. The power of one battle lies not just in its immediate impact, but in the ripple effects it creates, influencing future events and decisions. The Battle of Waterloo, like many other pivotal moments in history, serves as a stark reminder of the potential held within a single day. One battle, one day, could have rewritten the history of the world. Our journey through this alternate history comes to an end, but the question remains, what if?
we have traced a different path where Napoleon triumphed at Waterloo, mapping out the immediate aftermath, the reshaping of Europe and the global impact. We've contemplated the cultural ramifications, the ripple effects that would have echoed through generations. In this alternate timeline, the balance of power may have shifted, new alliances could have been formed, and perhaps even the course of technology and art would have swerved in an unforeseen direction. The world might have been a very different place had that pivotal battle swung in favour of the French Emperor. Yet in the end, these possibilities remain in the realm of speculation. The threads of history are woven together in complex and unpredictable ways, each decision, each event shaping the tapestry of our collective past. History is a tapestry of events, decisions and outcomes. Every thread matters, every thread changes the picture. What if Napoleon had won the Battle of Waterloo? We can only speculate, but the possibilities are fascinating. 